Thank you for purchasing the rest of the video for the polar bear. Again, this is what the polar bear looks like. I will be teaching you how to make the cute little ears and to sew on the cute little buttons and make the nose and the little braids. You can make these braids as long or as short as you want, whatever best suits you. So enjoy. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a bunch of strings um, for the braids. You're, in, you're gonna end up folding them in half and braiding them, so depending on how long or how short, I don't want mine, but too long, because I'm gonna make it about the same size as mine, so I'm, you know, I don't need them too long. But anyway, you are going to cut six pieces of three different colors. So you are going to have 18 pieces of yarn total. You can make them all white, you can do whatever. I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I did in this one, which is, white, um, a darker blue, and a lighter blue. I think it's perfect for winter time and so that's what I'm going to do. So here I have my 18 pieces of yarn. So for each side I need three pieces of each color. So let's see, I'm going to get three whites out here, three light blues, and three dark blues. So here are my strands of yarn. They don't have to be perfect in size. I didn't even use scissors, to be honest with you. I just tore them because in the end you're going to cut them perfectly. So anyway, put them together. Um, back here where I had said to chain two instead of one, this is why I did so because it's kind of hard to weave all these through with just one chain. So it makes it a little easier on yourself or two. So you have to put this through this hole right here. So what I do is I take my crochet hook and I put it through the hole of the flap and I grab these pieces of yarn really, really, really tight and I pull them through. So, oops, and one got loose from me. So let me put it in here. All right. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna do that for both sides and then I'm gonna do the braids because that's easier for me. You can do it however works best for you. So again, on this side, you're gonna have three light blues, three dark blues, and three whites or whatever colors you have. You know, anything will work. Just as long as it's three. I mean, you can make them thicker or thinner as you please. I just, nine pieces on each side really look good. So that's, that's what I do. So I'm gonna pull these through just like I did on the other side of the loop here. Mm So now I've got those on this side as well. All right, so I'm gonna start with one side. You can get your strands as you know, even as you can. And then you just braid them. There's no you know, right way to do this. So I'm literally just braiding down the side of the ear flap here with the um, yarn that I put through. I'll show you in just a second once I get through braiding. It takes a minute, I'm sorry. Make these a little longer than the other one since it's for a child that's a little bit older. So I'm gonna make it about that long. And now I gotta make a knot, which that's why it's nice to have a little, you know, a lot extra here because it's kind of hard to do a knot with so many strands of yarn. So let me get them all through here for you. All right, so you have one done. And of course, we'll trim up that later so it looks a lot better. <laughs> Never fear. All right. 
So now we're on this side. We're going to do the exact same thing. And you're obviously going to want to make the braid, you know, the same length. So it's not lopsided or anything. So just braid. All right, so I got to where it's gonna be like pretty even with, once I have the knot. So I'm going to make a knot here. And you can really use this pattern for any kind of winter hat, you don't even have to put the polar bear and face on it. Like it looks cute, just like this. And we're going to take the braids, uh oh, hold on a second, I got a piece that needs to come through the knot. Okay, so then you need to get your scissors out. And you just take them and you cut them the same length. Easy as that. And then you can just throw it away or whatever you want to do with that. There's no use for that. Now on this project, so you've got your little braids. One's a little bit longer than the other, so I'm gonna take it out here and fix it. sure they're perfect. Braiders, I forgot to create my knot. So then you, you know, again, if that happens, just make sure it's just even. So then it looks like this. So we're going to need some more. All right. So now we are going to make the ears. So for the ears, you are going to need white yarn. The ears are super easy. So you take your yarn, you know, start out with a slip knot. Always, always, always start out with a slip knot, even if people don't say start out with a slip knot, start out with a slip knot. Take your crochet hook, pull it through, put it in your hoop. So we're going to make a magic circle. So we're going to chain three. One, two, 
three. All right, now you are gonna join in your first chain that you made. Make a slip stitch. All right, so now we have this little bit here. Now we're gonna chain two and we're gonna make 10 double crochets in the little ring. So to double crochet, as you've seen in the video before, and I'll show you again, is you yarn over, pull, put in a loop, and you pull through, you got three loops on your hook, you yarn over, you pull through two, and you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the last two. That is a double crochet. So we're gonna do that nine more times. So that's one. So two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten. All right. Now we're going to join. We are going to join in the top of the chain two. Now we're going to chain one. Reason being is we're going to do single crochets in each of the double crochet that we did around and that will bring it in for the bare loop the bare ear makes it you know curvy so we're going to do that 10 times so in your next stitch just one single crochet around and then you'll have 10 single crochets around Nine and ten, and then I am going to slip stitch in my first single crochet just to make it more curvy, like so. And so that's here. Oh, let me get this correct. That's here. Um, barrier. So now what we're going to do is we are going to leave a little bit of a tail because we will have to sew these items on the hat once we are finished. So now you are going to take your yarn over and pull it through the loop and pull tight. So that is your little bear ear. So we need to make one more of those. So if you remember how to do it, um, go ahead. If not, we're going to do it one more time together. So slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch in the first chain that you made, makes a ring, chain two, double crochet ten chains in the ring. And 10. All right, slip stitch in the chain two, chain one, single crochet around. You should have 10 single crochets.
and then I'm going to slip stitch in my first single crochet I made and we have another little barrier. Again, leave a tail for sewing purposes and you're going to pull the string through and you have another little ear. So now for the nose. With the nose, we're going to start with the black. So get your black yarn out. And make a magic ring. So let me see. Is that off? All right, we're going to make a magic ring. So you're going to make a slip stitch. And I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And again, I'm going to go back to the first chain I made. And I'm going to go through it. And then I'm going to make a slip stitch. Now you have your ring. You're going to chain one. And you're going to make eight single crochets in the ring. Make a single crochet, you just go down in the circle, pull up yarn, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Do that seven more times. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Now we're going to join. We join in um, the chain. So we're going to chain one again because we're going to do two single crochets around. So then we're going to have 16 stitches. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty-one. slip stitch Oops. all right now you're gonna single crochet all the way around So again, you should have um, 16 stitches at the end of your round. At the end of your round, don't um, join yet because we are going to change colors to white. This is going to start um, bringing in now that we're not uh, increasing it. You'll see it starting to 
pulled over already, which is, that's good. That's what we want. All right. So I'm where I would normally slip stitch. So I'm going to lay it aside and I've got my white right here handy. Okay. Press down and make a slip knot. Okay. So I have this here. I have this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, go in my stitch. Because normally to join I would yarn over and pull through two but instead of doing that I've got you know I've got my yarn on my hook and I've got my stitch on my hook now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this white on the top and I'm actually gonna pull it through my loops and that's how you change colors very easily now what we need to do is um, chain one and that chain one there will keep um, the yarn from falling out. So I need to do that first thing. Make my slip knot kind of tight. That's what was. And then you can pull your block tight. And then you just need to cut it. I leave a little bit because you're gonna, you know, pull tight. But um, and that's how you change colors. And so now what you're gonna do for the next um you probably about three or four rounds. Um, you can do as many rounds as you want. It's just going to make your nose go more out. So I think I'm going to do three rows. And all I'm going to do is continue my single crochet around and around and around. So anyway, that's what we'll... Actually, yeah, my bad. Alright, single crochet around. Slip stitch like so, chain one, and keep going. As you can see, it's curving in. That's what you want it to do. So it makes that 3D effect on our hat, which is super cute. Join. We're gonna chain one. We'll do one more row and see where we're at with it. And again, you can you can keep going with it if you wanted.
you can start to see that it's curling in, so it's going to be like that. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'm going to leave it like that. Um, you do need to leave a little bit of a longer tail because you're going to have to sew all the way around the circle. So make sure to leave plenty enough. You rather have too much than not enough. And then you're going to just pull the string through and pull tight. And you have your nose. All right. All right, so let's finish this project. We've got our hat. Got our nose. And our cute little ears. And then two buttons for the eyes. Now you are going to need a yarn needle. So um, if you have one handy, grab it. And what you're going to do is I sew on the ears first. And as you can see, let me try to get real close here. You can see where each row starts. Like that's one row, two row, and so on. I put them in between the third and fourth row here. Like so like in the middle, like that's where I'm gonna put my ears. You can put your ears wherever you want, but I think that's where it looks best. So that's where I'm gonna put mine. So I'm going to my yarn through my yarn needle here and I'm simply going to sew it in between the third and the fourth row like I said um, there's no right or wrong way of how to do this you just you know whatever looks best to you I normally do four stitches for each ear just so then you know you're going through four stitches So it should look like that. Now you have a your yarn in here. Just make sure you know make a knot so that it stays put. And then you can just cut it. Hide the string, whatever. So there's one ear on. We have one more to go. Again, between the third and the fourth row, you want to make sure it's, um, however you do it, you want to make sure it's the same on both, um, both sides so you don't have, like, lopsided ears. So, again, between the third and the fourth row, and I'm going to do it through four stitches. Like that, and then I'm just going to put my yarn down through my hat. So then it's on this side. And I'm just going to make a knot. Again, so my stitches can't come out. And I'm going to cut it. Simple as that. So there's the ears. You could even make a hat just like this with just the ears if you wanted to. That's super cute. I've had several customers want hats just like this and there's nothing wrong with that. So there's that. So now 
we are going to take the nose. We're going to sew him on about right there, you know, just somewhere in the middle. Make sure you leave room for your eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my yarn needle through this yarn. And I'm simply going to just sew it on. There's no right or wrong way. Just, you know, as long as it's, you know, centered so it looks good. I don't count my stitches to make sure it's perfect. Um, I just sew it on where I think it looks good and I go with it. Now you're more than welcome to count your stitches and you can do it however you'd like, but there's no reason for it. I just sew it on. Just like that. So now I'm going to go back down in to the back of my hat so that I can um, make a knot. You finish that part. You're done with your yarn needle. Unless your yarn needle's big enough to go through your buttons, mine's not. I'm gonna have to use like an actual sewing button. So there's that. Made this nose a little bit different than mine. Um, this row right here, um, mine's white, but I thought it could use some more black to it, so I did it that way. So now I'm gonna put my eyes like about right in those areas there that I poked just you know make sure it looks good so I'm going to take a button and I've got my needle handy right here this is um, yarn thread is what this is and this is just a needle a sewing needle so if you're using a sewing needle be careful because they're a lot more pointier than yarn needles and you're just gonna Sew the buttons on. It's a pretty simple pattern. Pattern that you can probably get done in an hour once you um, know what you're doing and have the pattern down pat. Memorized, I guess would be the right word. that and then tie that just sew on a button and then you can cut the strings so there's one eye on we just need one more
right. So there you have your polar bear hat. So that's super exciting. Um, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube and also keep up with my Etsy to see what new stuff we have coming out. Thank you.